For over 40 days, Muhammad has been waiting. He, his uncle, his brothers and their 70-year-old father have traveled over 2,500 kilometers to Muscat from their home in the Yemeni port city of Aden. Services in Aden are very bad. There's no electricity, water or food. We have to buy it from the black market and it costs too much. Life is very difficult. Mohammed's father has spent those six weeks inside the Muscat apartment they all share. He has cancer. He has a visa for treatment in Germany. Mohammed is his father's official companion, but his visa hasn't come through. The health system in Yemen has almost collapsed. They can only do simple first aid and basic operations, but for serious illnesses there is no treatment and people can't afford it. Much of Yemen has been ripped apart by fighting between Houthi rebels and Saudi-led forces backing the internationally recognized government of Abdurrahmansur Khadi, and many hospitals have been destroyed. The government of Oman doesn't issue official statistics to show the number of Yemenis there are in the country. People who've been injured in the fighting or people who've escaped here and need medical treatment have been treated by the hospitals here. But Oman is very concerned that the fighting in Yemen is going to spill over the border. And because of that, it's tightening its border controls. And that's going to make it more difficult for people like Mohammed and his uncle to come to Oman. So some Omanis are taking aid to Yemen. Nasser al-Jakhami has been three times already. In October, he took three trucks filled with food, clothes and blankets. Every time when I'm going there, it's giving me hope to go again. Okay, not because I didn't go for fighting. My target is not, not, not for fighting. It's to helping people. On the last journey, 70-year-old Sultan al-Riamli finally persuaded Nasser to take him too. I'm more concerned with the safety of those people there and uh, the problems which, are, which they are facing now. And I wish uh, any uh, magic wand comes and uh, remove this uh, problem. Mohammed says he has no intention of staying away from Yemen. There is no place like home. He and his family work in construction. And when the fighting stops, they say they'll help to rebuild their country. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera, Muscat, Oman.